So far, with volumes of revolution, we've dealt with curves written as a Cartesian equation. But what if uh, the curve is given as a pair of parametric equations? How do we deal with that? Now, in order to deal with this, um, really you should have looked at um, integration with parametric equations from the A-level maths course first. Uh, if you haven't, then you probably want to do that first, Okay, just to kind of give you a heads up. Um, but of course, with volumes of revolution, as we've uh, worked so far, if you are rotating about the x-axis, then the volume is going to be equal to the integral uh, between your two limits. So let's say a and b. Uh, so x equals a and x equals b of pi y squared dx. And if we are rotating about the y-axis, then our volume is the integral between y equals c to d of pi x squared dy. Okay. So, essentially what we do uh, to introduce uh, parametric equations here is to use a substitution, essentially. Um, now, that doesn't mean integration by substitution, um, but um, what I mean by that is it's the dx that I am going to replace here with the integral of pi y squared, and we're going to have dx by dt dt. Okay. Now, in order to do this, you also need to think about the corresponding uh, t value. Okay, so because if you're integrating between x equals a and x equals b, you want the corresponding t value that goes with that. So the t value for when x is a, so uh, let's put that as t little a, and this one will be t little b. Okay, so that will be your volume integral. Now, if you're doing the same but about the y axis, then we would have the integral of pi x squared. I'm going to have to replace the dy with dy by dt times by dt. Okay, and likewise, if you're integrating between y equals c and y equals d, you need the corresponding t values that go with that. So tc and td. Okay, so it's a very similar setup to uh, parametric integration. It's quite straightforward to work with, um, but of course it's the choosing of the t values that we need to consider work with just to make sure that we're getting the correct way around. Uh, otherwise you can kind of lead to um, some answers being negative when they shouldn't be. So we're going to go through some examples so you can get a feel for how this will work.